the artist of the year this year. And it has to be an active artist, which makes it even more fantastic. Thanks a bit to Rue Moore back cover, but ba Basil Gogos is this year's artist of the year. Accepting for Basil will be Frank Dietz. Uh, yes. <laughs> Who won the last two years? Hi. Hi. Can I take? Yeah. Now I have three. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, I've been very honored to have been up here twice before to get this, this you know, this terrific award, and I, I pretty much knew that this year I was going to be passing the crown. I had no idea I was going to be passing the, the, uh, the crown to the man who inspired me to do what I do to begin with. I mean, it's remarkable that, you know, he's already in the Hall of the, the Rondo Hall of Fame, and, and then this year he, he makes this amazing comeback with two pieces in particular, the, um, the Trapdoor Maker was the name of the book, right? He did the cover for that. And then, of course, the very, very poignant a um, uh, cover of Rue Morgue magazine that, um, that showed Forey uh, at his ghoulish best. Um, I don't think, I mean, this is funny, this is like, uh, you know, I equate this to sort of like Tom Hanks handing the Oscar over to Marlon Brando. I mean, it's, it's just bizarre that this is the man that, I'm, that I, I turn my crown over to and I'm so happy about it. I wish you could be here. Um, I'll tell you just a real quick story that says a lot about Basil. And by the way, if you don't know Basil's work, you're in the wrong room right now. <laughs> um, several years ago, um, I had put out about three of my sketchbooks so far, and I was, uh, I was at a convention, and Basil was there. And I had never met him before. Um, I, I wanted to you know, introduce myself, and I wanted to give him copies of my books. And he was sitting there at his table, and I brought the books over, and I said, you know, Mr. Gogos, I said, uh, you know, I, uh, you were a hero to me, um, a, a, a real inspiration, and, you know, I've made these books uh, a lot because of, of what I saw of your work when I was growing up, and you really are my hero. I hand him the books, and he takes them, and he kind of skims through them for a few minutes, and he just looks up at me, and he goes, no, you're my hero. And that says a lot, I think, about Basil. So um, what can I say except uh, I think when I speak for all of us when I say thank you to Basil, and I'm sure he say thank you for this. <laughs>